know, I have to watch people make YouTubes that are like, oh, and now he's a, now he's making music and he's a star. Uh, he's, he's doing music in Mexico, which is really weird. And I'm like, why is that weird? I mean, people like my music in Mexico, yeah. like, or in Latin America, more so than the States. I was watching an interview with um, Tina Turner, mm -hmm. with Larry King, and, you know, I mean, she's a legend. I mean, she's a huge musical artist, but she was living in Europe at the time, and Larry couldn't believe it. Larry's like, what? Why, why aren't you in the U.S.? And she's like, well, you know, I, I do well out here, but in Europe, that's <laughs> yeah. where my fans are. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge star in Europe, and as an artist, you want to you know, you're going to go where people are responding to your art. And, um, she goes, he goes, but you're a legend. She's like, well, I'm not as big as Madonna here in the U S she goes, but in Europe, in some places I'm bigger than the Rolling Stones, you know? So she's like, wait, like, but, but people in the yeah. U S can't wrap their mind around, wait, but we're the most important. Like, why aren't you here trying to make, like, why would you go somewhere else? It's like, well, if you paint a picture, it's like, you're yeah. going to you're going to want to go where people want to see it. You're going to put it up in a museum where people want to see it whether it's in Paris or Amsterdam or Latin America or wherever it is, you know? And and so for me in 2008 when I came out here with my second record, I I got to connect with an audience that I didn't know existed and and that was so different and and ready to um you know, take my music and my lyrics and my songs and, and, you know, create this community. Uh, and I just, it, it was just an incredible and amazing experience. And so throughout the years, that's been a, a focus of mine is, is connecting with, with my fans. And if that's out here, then, you know, and, and then falling and, you know, coming out here and, experiencing the culture and falling in love with everything all you know every aspect of of of, of here and um you know and then people are saying oh drake bell changed his name and escaped to mexico because of what he's it's like i've been i've been focused on mexico and all of latam for many many years because um i you know i want to play concerts and i want to put music out that people like and listen to. And this just happens to be one of the places that, that, uh, the response is, is, is really great and inspiring. And so it's, uh, it's, but it's interesting to see the way that the press yeah. in the U S refers to Mexico, refers to yeah. not just Mac. Yeah. refers to Mexico and how, they refer to how strange and weird and I must be, there must be ulterior motives of why I'm not doing it in the United States. It's like, what? Like, get, get off yeah. the pedestal. <laughs> like you got, they have this thing in their mind where, you know, we, Oh, we're, we're the best and we're number one. And if you're not trying to do it here, then it doesn't matter. And you're like, there's a lot of people in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that that happens a lot with the US but also in in for example in Mexico City mm -hmm. it happens a lot with Mexico City and the rest of the country mm. because it's 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 hard to get off of our own heads like yeah. it's hard to see the world from other perspectives yeah. because if we live in a context it's it's really difficult to imagine anything else no but uh, how, how do you deal with, like with this fear of the unknown? Because you you came here to Mexico, the the image of, the, of Mexico in the U.S. is not the best. It's re, it's often related with the cartel or, or oh yeah or, or like really negative stuff. Not only in the U.S. in in the whole world. Yeah. Like how how did you deal with that in, uh, uncertainty of of what you were gonna to come into? Well, because I've been here, been coming for so many years, and uh, I become very accustomed and familiar with, with it, with, uh, with Mexico that I didn't really have, I, I wasn't influenced yeah. by, by, all by those. media in the U S or, yeah, you lived it in your yeah, own I mean, yeah. because a lot of the news is, you know, skewed to get someone elected, yeah. you know, for office. Like, and so I, I had so much experience here that I, I was never negatively influenced by 
any of the yeah, and, and you know how you know how the machinery works because you're often the victim of that. And that's machinery. the that's the other thing too. So is yeah, I you're like oh yeah, these yeah, guys it's are like full okay, of shit. exactly. Yeah. Clickbait. Okay. Oh, you're writing the story because this is what you're trying the narrative that you're trying to set, and you know you have to take everything with a grain of salt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I so I, I, I luckily I didn't have uh, I because of the so much experience being here and um, I didn't I you know. Never, yeah. never negative, negatively influenced by any of that. And Mexico City right now is 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 really transforming into a really interesting place mm -hmm. because there's a lot of of cultures right now yeah. uh, in the city, mm -hmm. which obviously uh, it it changes the city or, or the landscape of the city. And I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's a, it's an interesting place right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no I notice that a lot. Um, it's uh it's becoming more of a melting pot yeah yeah have you seen the the like the change in mexico city in the last couple of years like have you seen like more americans i more, definitely more, more definitely more americans definitely more europeans more canadians yeah. um than uh than ever before but uh but yeah i mean I, it for for me it's uh that's how the u.s is i mean we're we're such a yeah. melting pot so california New yeah York, it's, yeah you it's Every all cultures are in one spot, so um, I don't think it's as noticeable for for me because I I kind of just feels like where I come from. Yeah. Um, uh, but I do talking with friends and hearing things is I I I do hear that there's like a noticeable shift happening. Yeah, it's interesting what's happening because uh, Mexico or Mexicans are are we're like accustomed to be like the the ones immigrating to other countries and now we're in this really different role of of, yeah. of receiving for foreigners and from other countries and and that i think that's uh that that's good in the mm -hmm. long run because obviously in the short term there's negative effects like the prices go up and all yeah, that yeah. which is understandable but i think that in the long run is going to be something really positive because i think countries in the future are obsolete like everybody should be should be allowed to live wherever they want yeah. and, and boundaries or geographical boundaries are just arbitrary. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you want to talk about anything else, my friend? You, you, you're releasing your album in, in the next couple of months. Yeah. You, the album will be coming out, the single, the, the videos out, the singles out, um, the documentaries out. Uh, so, so yeah, I think we've, yeah, I mean, I yeah. think we touched on a lot of stuff. 